Seth Godin, poke the box, when was the last time you did something for the first time? Embark on a journey with Seth Godin's captivating book, Poke the Box, when was the last time you did something for the first time? Discover how instigation capital, the entrepreneurial spirit to initiate change, plays a crucial role in modern-day business success. Explore how money and networks are no longer the prime factors in pursuing your goals. Learn from real-life examples like Wikipedia and Annie Duke, the former World Series poker champion, on how initiative propelled them to great heights. Additionally, understand the importance of overcoming the fear of failure, maintaining perseverance, and the drawbacks of overstarting. Instigation Capital In this age, having the right attitude and spirit to take the initiative and pursue one's goals is the most critical factor in achieving business success. Money and networks are no longer the most crucial elements for launching a successful venture. This book summary uses the example of Wikipedia to illustrate how people with initiative can make a difference, even against established players like Encyclopedia Britannica, who lacked the initiative to take advantage of the internet. Poke the box. To achieve success in life, waiting for a lucky break is not an option. Instead, you must cultivate the habit of poking the box by trying something new, seeing what happens, and proceeding accordingly through trial and error. Poking the box is essential in the innovative process, and it doesn't necessarily have to be a world-changing idea. Annie Duke, the former World Series poker champion, is an excellent example of someone who poked the box, studied the game, tested strategies, failed, and tried different methods until she became one of the world's best players. To overcome your fear of taking initiative, you need both passion and patience. Embracing Failure Failure should not be feared but rather recognized as part of the process of achieving one's goals. By taking risks and finding creative solutions, success takes care of itself. Examples from a Canadian indie rock band illustrate the point. To overcome fear of failure, one must first identify it and accept that it is a natural part of the learning process. It's better to have tried and failed than to have never tried at all. Overcoming Hurdles to Achieving Success Starting a project is just the beginning of a journey filled with challenges. The journey to bring your dream project to life is like walking hundreds of miles from your front door to another city. Every step along the way, you might question your motives and decide to quit. However, continuing to move forward is the key to overcoming obstacles. Whether it's trying to pitch winning ideas, building and organizing teams around projects, or perpetually innovating, successful companies have created a culture of innovation. The journey may be filled with failures, but as long as one or two ideas are successful, those few successes will outweigh the many failures. Overstarting and its consequences Overstarting is a common phenomenon where individuals are inclined to jump into new projects without completing the existing ones, leading to self-sabotage. This impulsive behavior can lead to missed opportunities and damaging collaborations. The key to curbing this behavior is to prepare and commit fully to the projects while understanding that it takes time and effort to see them through to completion. With proper preparation, not only can it instill confidence in potential collaborators, but it also sets one apart from the rest. In summary, Seth Godin's Poke the Box emphasizes the significance of instigation capital, the power of taking initiative, and the entrepreneurial spirit in achieving success. Using vivid examples such as Wikipedia and Annie Duke, readers learn how the fear of failure can be conquered and turned into opportunities for growth. Additionally, the book outlines strategies for creating a culture of innovation, the importance of patience and preparedness, and considerations regarding overstarting. As you venture into the world of entrepreneurial possibilities, remember to have the courage to poke the box and relentlessly pursue your dreams.